new free app for video editing, no watermark, AI and premium features like royalty free music, great sound effects, remove background noise from audio, auto generated captions, cool transitions, effects, stickers and more. This is free video editing course, mind blowing features, learn how to edit videos easily, watch till the end so you don't miss out, open play store on your mobile phone, type youtube create, install it and tap sign in. When you open YouTube Create app, click on the plus button to start a new project. Select the video clips you want to edit, then click on import. Before you jump into video editing, click on the three dots here, then aspect ratio. 16 is to 9 is for horizontal format. For YouTube, 9 is to 16 is vertical format. Shorts, Reels, TikTok, 1 is to 1 is for Instagram. You can now see the video timeline here and the clips you chose. You can adjust or trim the clip by dragging the handles on either side of the video, start and end point. If you don't want the first few seconds of the video, drag it to the point where you want it to start from. And likewise, you can do it for where you want the video to end it by dragging the handle. To trim or cut unwanted parts, if you want to remove a part of the video which is in between, keep the marker here at the start point of the portion which you don't want. Tap split or the scissors icon, then go to the end point of the portion you want to remove. Tap split again. Now this portion can be seen. Click on it and tap delete. You can remove any unwanted part. If you want to change the order of the clips, you can rearrange them. Select the clip you want to move by clicking on it and then long press and drag and drop it. See now, it's the first clip. If I want this as my second clip, I'll tap the clip to select it. Long press, keep dragging it until it becomes the second clip. Then drop it. And now the second clip. At any time you want to add more video clips or photos, click on the plus sign here. That takes you to your gallery and you can add videos or photos from here. If you are making shorts, look out for the shorts icon at the 1 minute mark which lets you know when you have reached the max time allowed for shorts. Next is beautiful transitions. Very useful to make your videos look better. Tap the video clip and click on split where you want the transition. This X will appear. Click on X. Select the transition you want. Decreasing the speed of the transition using this slider makes it look faster and better. Click on done. The one I used is slide right which is basic. There are many other interesting transitions like tear which is like paper cut. Then you have TV glitch. Then grid. Grid is cool. And camera shake is great too. Wow. Explore these cool transitions. Then there are features which add visual interest for more views. It's text. Click on A here, you get plain text and text effects. Let's see first how plain text looks. I'm writing YouTube create. You can drag or move text on the screen. You can drag it to increase the duration on either side of the text or decrease it. Not only this, we can also animate it and style our text. When we click on style, we can change the font size from here. Now let's change the font. Lot of options to choose from. Want to change font color? Go to color. Then choose the color from these options. Want to add a background behind text? Go to background. Select the color. Want to change corners to round it? Increase the radius. You can change opacity as well. Then go to format. You get bold, italic and other options. To undo it, just click here. Now let's go to outline, choose the color, you can increase the thickness, wanna give shadow effect, go to shadow, select the color and also you get two options, soft and hard shadow. Try and see what style you like. Now after styling text, we can also animate it, go to animation, we have whip pen right, slide up. Many cool options. Something interesting here is when the text starts, if you want it from the left and when it ends, you want it to go towards the right. I'm selecting whip and right under start tab, then go to finish tab and I'm choosing whip and right again. Now let's play it. Say the text comes from the left, stays on the screen and then goes towards the right. Usually keyframes are required for this, but here it's automated. If you wanna use more text later in the video, instead of styling every time, an easier way is click on the text, then click on duplicate, then drag and drop it where you want. To make changes in text, select the text and then click on edit. 
When you duplicate text, it doesn't give animation, but it gives the same text, font and style. You just need to animate again. And you can also use different animation. You also get text effects, which are pre-designed animated fonts, which can be added to text. Lot of amazing options to choose from. What about features to spice up your videos? Go to stickers, you get arrows, like and subscribe, and many other stickers, and they are animated. Also, you have GIFs. And there are animated emojis too. Whole bunch of fun things you can play with. You can drag it around. Adjust the size. You can also search by typing here. Now let's talk about music. Everyone wants it. Go to sound. Here you get access to creator music from YouTube. There's whole bunch of music tracks. You also get genre options as well. Use a license your size. You can use these audio tracks in any of your videos, including videos that you monetize. No attribution is required, so you don't need to credit anyone because YouTube itself will credit the artist. But what you cannot do is standalone distribution of these files is not permitted, meaning you cannot download music from here and use or distribute it with or without video anywhere outside of YouTube. Music and sound from here is free of charge, but it's allowed only on YouTube. Click on this triangle to listen to the music track and after choosing the track to add music click on the arrow to select the music music got added to increase or decrease volume click on volume here and use the slider you also get fine beats an interesting feature when you click on it it analyzes the music and finds main beats of the track this helps you sync your clips with your music by giving you a visual guide it shows different beat markers on the audio track so that you can trim or align music as per that by taking the marker to the beat point and then split you can change the scene as per the beat so that your video flows well with the music in some other apps we have to find beats manually here it's automated it's not just music you get sound effects as well lot of great options to choose from and you can also search from here if you want the bell sound type bell under your music it also gives you an option to upload your own audio if you have and that shows here what if you want to add your voice you can also add voiceover from here very useful for vlogs go to the start of the video or to the point where you want voiceover to start from and then tap voiceover tap the record button to record your voice when you're done tap it again to stop recording then tap done if your music is loud when you play the audio, select the music track and lower the volume. Now, I want to introduce you to a mind-blowing AI feature to reduce noise from audio, especially when the background noise from vehicles, construction or street noise also gets recorded. Select the portion which has background noise and then click on audio cleanup. It removes background noise. Premium and awesome feature for free. If you're enjoying this video, like and subscribe. Music, sounds and voiceovers that you have added shows below your footage in the timeline. When you tap the audio element, you can adjust the duration using the handles on either side of the clip split adjust volume and create a fade in fade out effect on audio so you can edit audio as well want more views you get auto generated captions for free wow to add captions tap captions then click on source choose between all videos and voiceover voiceover is to add captions as per your voice then select the language tap generate it transcribes and auto generates captions to edit captions and words click on edit to make changes in spelling you can even customize captions font and add animation by tapping the clip and choosing style you can customize size font color background you can drag it around move it on the screen i suggest use captions in the end when you're done with video editing now some more interesting features if you click on filters from here you get a lot of filter options select it and click on down to apply you can use the slider to adjust the intensity if you want make sure the filter you choose matches with your video theme then adjust is a pro level feature which comes in paid apps and here it's free you get various options for color grading you can correct the video color by increasing or decreasing the brightness contrast highlights sharpen by manually adjusting the bar and it's free what if you want to increase or decrease the speed anywhere in your video use speed features split the 
proportion where you want to make changes in speed select the video clip tap speed 1x is normal to increase the speed drag it towards the right side from 1x and to decrease drag it towards the left side from 1x you can see multiple layers here you can expand and collapse the layers easily to edit them the layers tuck away when you don't need them now tap overlay another useful feature select the photo or video clips you want on top of the video and tap import so using overlay you can get a video or picture on top of other clips you can move it anywhere on the video can pinch and zoom and change the size of overlay clip now it's time for an advanced feature what if you want to remove background from overlay video clip after importing the overlay clip from gallery after resizing and moving it go to effects click on cut out then done from just one click awesome isn't it you can also explore other amazing effects and using animation button here you can make it more interesting when you're done with all the edits click on the three dots on top right tap export out of 720p standard and 1080p high choose 1080 for better quality click on export you can upload to youtube directly from here or you can share the video you can also go to your phone gallery and you will get the video there what are your favorite features let me know in comments such videos take a lot of time and effort if you like this video i want to know please give it a thumbs up and share this video with youtuber friends subscribe for more